It's so much, so many things that God got in the head. Yeah. And there's so much out there we need to start realizing too. Yeah. Cause as we realize things and where God is trying to take us, how God is trying to shape and mold our lives, how He trying to keep us on the right track, to where we can make a proper choice one day. Come on. That's what it means to me. Because a lot of times I feel people don't know where they're in Christ. Come on. People don't know where they're going because it's stagnant. You know, we have been in a lot of places. I'm, I'm quite sure I got some sisters and brothers in here that have been in a lot of places. That know a lot of things. And sometimes they question where is God at in all these things. Sometimes we ask God for things and we pray for him with our heart and we wonder what's healing hindering our blessings too mm -hmm. because God got a blessing for all of us but sometimes we don't want we don't want to do the thing that God requires of us to get those blessings we feel like well God I'm going to ask you for this I'm going to ask you for that and then you're going to go over here and do this that and other that's just like sometimes when we leave the church we post to even got a good word and everything and we leave the same way we came in. Mm. Then nothing changes. Mm. We don't feel a change when we can go up right back out and do the same thing. But people call that the Holy Spirit too. A lot of people are deceived about what God wants, but God will not be mocked. That's right. You can't fool God. No, you you might can fool me, fool the people around you, live, live a certain way around people, but in your heart. Yes. You're still dirty. Hmm. Praise You're still dirty. That ain't what God calling you for. God don't call you up in here just to hear the word. God calls you in here to take the word out of you. Come on, come on. So if you don't get nothing while you're here, what you gonna take out there? Hallelujah. We supposed to be we both, I was telling them early, you know, about my birthright as a man. Mm -hmm. I got a birthright. Woman supposed to follow me. I'm supposed to be the head of my family. You, you are. know what I'm saying? But if I ain't letting God sink into my mind, how am I going to be the head of my family? How is my wife going to have respect for me? And I ain't following God. Come on. But I'm going to tell her all the directions to go and all the things to do. Or try to lead my kids or anything. Or try to show the young people in the church thing, you know, showing people that's been in prison and stuff, thing. Places I've been doing. Things I've been doing. All of a sudden, the words coming out of my mouth, but my actions don't line up with my words. Speak, well, speak, oh, speak, speak, speak. You know what I'm saying? The way, the way some of my nephews and nieces can look at me and say, what you saying about God? Huh? Do you really believe in God? Because they'll look at your ass. You, you give them all that lip service you want to, they're going to watch what you do. That's right. And they're going to do what you do. Praise the Lord. So we have to be better examples of what God wants us to do. We have to take this in. We take this in because God is teaching us through our brothers and sisters that's trying to go in the same place we're going. So we come here to fortify each other. It don't matter if three or four is here or a thousand people here. It don't matter at all. That is not what God called you for. He didn't call, call, call me up here today to make you laugh. Praise the Lord. Make you feel good. Jump up, pat my feet a little bit. He brought me right here to tell you the truth. Come on. Amen. And a lot of people ain't living in the truth. Hallelujah. A lot of people still walking in darkness. Come on. Because they really don't see the light. Mm. And the light is Jesus Christ. Amen. That is the 